Okay, so, okay, so uh, yeah, that turned off. So my girlfriend moved out here from um, Lake Havasu to Manhattan Beach, so I'm here in Manhattan. So she gave me an address that I don't know what happened. Maybe her text was wrong. Um, it doesn't matter though because I just needed to get out of the house and come down by the water. The water is pretty nice. Lots of people out. Lots of people and their dogs. Um, so yeah, it's just me and Honey. Um, so yeah. I don't understand what's going on. Anyways, um... Yeah, I'm pretty frazzled by that whole familial thing. You know, nobody wants to take um, responsibility for what they're, you know, doing to others. And the gaslighting is out of control. And You just gotta freaking sometimes cut everybody out. Tell them to go mess with somebody else because I'm done. Stop messing with me. But uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out some place to put this thing that's gonna, that's gonna work. Anyways. Yeah. I've got stuff to go on, out on the water and just lay out. I brought a beat. I brought a beach chair, an umbrella, water, snacks, a swimsuit, flip-flops. I don't know. So, this is it. This is the summer. I have two more weeks before I go back in for the rest of my teeth situation. It's going to be really scary because it's in six to nine months um, recovery. It's going to take six to nine months of recovery and then afterwards uh, it's going to be another six months of recovery. And then... Um, And then I'll have a pretty smile again. Maybe I'll gain some weight. Maybe I'll lose some weight. <laughs> you know, that the whole thing of taking care of yourself is just never ending. And you are constantly having to do things to, like, make your life better. You know? Um, so I'm sitting here at Manhattan Beach, right below Bruce's Park, which is a park that um, has a torrid history. I mean, I guess it used to belong to um, an African-American couple, and it was confiscated through eminent domain because of the black and white issue in America. It's like you can't get away from it, you know? You try to go out, do your, like, little, you know, due diligence, take care of your brain, take care of your life, take care of your thoughts, you know? And then once, you know, you're out there and you're trying to forget about all the situational, you know, just tremors that... You come upon a peaceful, serene park, like Bruce's Park, and find out that they did not like African Americans in Manhattan Beach. And the owners of this beach were basically pushed out and their land confiscated. And it's an issue because, like, right now they're talking about returning the land to the, you know, people who, um, the ancestor, not the ancestors, but like the, you know, the, the family, um, or at least take some type of consideration, I guess, but 
it's just, you know, another form of, you know, turmoil and what this entire nation is constantly having to be reminded of, you know? Um, I'm late on my tan. I got here this after this morning at like 10 o'clock. Uh, it's 11:39 right now. I have maybe like 20 more minutes on the on the um, the meter, but you know. I was thinking about putting more money in it, or you know, redoing the credit card and like getting you know a couple more hours out, but. Honey's not into it. She um, literally got on the water, on the sand, and then turned around and came right back up and wasn't having it. Then I took her up around the park and she the whole time she was pulling me like back. And it was so funny, she knew exactly where the car was and she wanted in the minute she turned into the freaking parking lot. So I thought that was funny. Um, so yeah, you know, I came out here to kind of like give myself some breathing air because I can't deal with this whole situation thing that's going on within my family. Familial alienation is a mother effort and being a middle child really does take a toll on you. My nephew recently died. He uh, was a gun owner. I wasn't there. I didn't see what happened, but it, it doesn't look good, you know? And while I was in Oregon trying to, you know, be supportive of the family, um, as a middle child, everyone started to bash me like I was, you know, the fucking reason for everything, you know? And I got to the point where I just was like, look, either you stop it, acknowledge it, and move it on, move, move it along, like keep it moving, or I'm leaving. Um, you know, trauma is not cool, you know, it's a lot to work through. People think that because they have, you know, trauma that that's excusable for their actions and it's not. So, um, you know, there was a situation where my sister-in-law passed away and, um, the middle, my, my brother's middle child you know, that was his mother, so he was devastated, and they just didn't fucking do the right thing, you know, they left him, they, they, they trolled him for loving his mother, this is what I saw, and I don't know why people think that, oh, because they have a new girlfriend, or because they have, you know, this, uh, new relationship that they could just kick their kids to the curb you know that's not the way it happens you know another issue that I saw that was happening was you know the the there was a lot of conflict of interest within the people and at the end of the day like work it out man you know we get it, you know, you're miserable, misery loves company, you know, you want to get together with someone, you both have kids, you want to like, you know, just live a fruitful life, but fruitful does not mean bashing your kid because he loves his mother and his mother died from diabetes that was out of control, like it's not his fault, don't blame him. As a middle child, I've seen this so much. I was there just a couple years ago and I saw what happened. I saw that they were not cool. They, you know, were not cool. The mother wasn't well. She had diabetes. She had her own problems. She was homeless. She was broke. She was living in a shelter. There's no excuse for what kind of behavior you exert on your children, especially when they're going through pain and suffering. 
in front of the adults all around you as a parent to pretend like you're the fucking only one that's hurting is a joke from fucking literal hell. And it's fucking ridiculous. And it makes me mad. It makes me mad because, you know, I got there after my son, my, my nephew passed away, you know, to show up and be, you know, courageous. And it's just little thing after little thing that kept happening. You know, where I just saw the dysfunction, the fucking generational dysfunction that, you know, I mean, I love my mom. God bless her. I really do. But she was not the best mother. And, you know, she brought a lot of, you know, just unnecessary issues to our lives. You know, she was stubborn like a rock and she just it didn't matter to her, you know, all, all that mattered to her was what she wanted. It didn't matter to her that it wasn't good for us or that it was potentially harmful for us. She didn't care, you know, and now that we're, I'm 50 years old, she's 75 and she's trying to continuously do the same thing that she would rag on me as a child for, you know, back then I was responsible for my brother and sister. I'm not responsible for them anymore. Not, and I don't need to apologize for anything either. You know, I've lived my life. I've been on my own since I was 16. Trauma's not good. Okay, if you think you're a parent and you've done all this great stuff, if you've screwed with your kids and their, you know, ability. To just, you know, become an adult graciously, you know, what you're doing is you're ruining their foundation. It's not okay to do that. Parents are funny. They really are. And yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry because what? Wow. My reel got more than 500 plays. <laughs> and it was just me like sitting there looking at the camera like this. I wish my YouTube did that. So anyway, um, yeah, it's not fun. You know, it's, it's hard. Familial alienation is a em emmer effort. And there comes a time in everyone's life where you just got to go listen, man. You need to back up and, you know, call it a day. Like, tell yourself that, you know, you're done, you missed, you know? I feel bad for people. But I feel worse for those that didn't want to stick around because others made their lives that more difficult for them to live, especially when they're young and vulnerable, you know? Gaslighting is an issue. It's being played out all across America. I mean, the president did it to us, you know? He gaslit the American people. And to come, to find out that there's a little girl that's missing. Her name is Summer. Wells, Summer Moon, Utah Wells. I mean, the parenting in that little girl's life is questionable. It's like, who in the world? I don't know. I feel bad for the mother, but at the same time, her inconsistencies are just rude and foul. And this is what happens, you know? I sat down for dinner once with my my family, and my, I, this is crazy. And I go and ask my, my stepdaughter, you know, hey, how's your little 
friends next door that live next door to you at your house, you know, like they always come over and play with you, whatever, you know. And she's like, oh, she's a liar and she's being molested by her dad. And I'm like, and she goes, and she's just lying about it and I don't believe her and nobody believes her and the child services and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, really? And then I said to myself, isn't her husband the guy's best friend? Does that now make him guilty by association? Like, what is happening right now? People are crazy. You know? There's things that you just don't do. You don't call a child a liar when she's telling you that her father's molesting. That's not the things that you do, you know? Summer, moon, Utah wells, like what is happening there? Nothing, you don't hear anything about her on the news anymore, nothing. How does a girl just absolutely disappear and go nowhere? I don't know. I really don't. But to say that I disagree with some people's, you know, parenting skills is an understatement. It's like fucking learn something. And my mom and my sister are acting like, oh, you know, you said this and you shouldn't have. Yeah, well, you assaulted me and you shouldn't have either. So, you know, when someone screams at your face, that's a threat. When someone threatens you, that's assault. Don't be an idiot. Get it together. And if somebody is trying to mess with you, physically, verbally, accusingly, that's exit stage left. Walk away. Don't stick around for the limelight. Because you could get caught up in the entire thing. And I do not want to be the one. I don't. As it is, my son's not even talking to me right now. Why? Because I told him I told you so. Don't go get married again. You make a hundred and God knows how many thousands of dollars a year. This girl's only after your money. Starving students are a real thing. Am I angry? No, but I had a child at 16. Trauma is no joke. It's an injury to the body. So yeah, that's why I came out here to the water, get away. My friend doesn't call me. Oh, let's see what time is it? 11.49, so I have to be out of here by 12.10. Um, you know, I just want to go pee. I got to take her out one more time. It's a lot. I think I'm going to go home. I'm going to lay out. This girl didn't call me. I've been out here for two hours. She gave me an address, but like the address doesn't go inside with whatever the numbers come up on in the Manhattan Beach uh, GPS. So I'm not gonna bother. I mean, I will eventually call her and tell her, hey, you know, I'll try again tomorrow or some other day. But today, I just needed to get out of the house. You can't make people change so at some point you just gotta change and you just gotta say okay enough enough is enough I cannot deal with people gaslighting me through and through every single time for no reason at all I've done nothing I've done nothing and I'm gonna miss them <laughs> as a matter of fact I'm gonna miss them but it is what it is. Life is short and you can't let, continuously let people suck the life out of you. It's too much. Anyway, that was my rant for today. It considered it, consider it a diary vlog um, for summer 2021. These are all my thoughts and opinions. You know, and I'm entitled to my own opinion and my own thoughts. And it doesn't really matter what people think. 
What matters is what I think. Okay? So, if you want to support my channel, I'm going through a lot of changes in my life, but I plan to move forward every step of the way. You always have to keep, you know, making improvements on your life. Stop letting people drag you down. And don't allow them to walk all over you. Stand up for yourself. Especially if it's family. Because they're the worst. Like and subscribe. Share if you need to. I don't care. It's no secret. Uh, thanks for watching.